traditional pretzels are done t kind of bottom heavy, you know, and they traditionally do split open like that. It's very, very common. Here in America, that's not very common. But all I'm going to do, just like I do with any bread dough, is I'm going to flatten it out a little bit and make a log. And then I'm going to start to roll it. Now, this dough is not the way this dough in the world. So I'm going to be working to get this rolled out. I'm going to leave it kind of thick in the middle, work on getting the ends kind of thin. I'm going to go for a fairly long piece. Okay. And the reason why is because I need still to twist this up and make a pretzel out of it. And it's not like it's going to stay this length. As you can see, I'm going ahead and getting it long. Just, you know, go ahead and just let it get long. If it's really bucky, rest it a little longer. So, I've got this nice long piece of dough here. All I have to do, typically, yeah, the, the people who do it professionally, they just twist like this, and bingo, pretzel. You know, really simple. But, no. <laughs> The way you do it when you haven't done it before, the easy way is make an upside down U, right? Where the open part of the U is facing you. And then you flip it over once, you flip it over twice, and then go and have your pieces join the pretzel. You just give it a pinch. It's kind of nice to have a little water nearby to kind of make sure that this pinches together well. But generally, if you pinch pretty well, it'll stay. Then, I, I pre-sprayed this pan to make sure these won't stick because Ken was having some real sticking issues uh, a little while ago. So uh, a little pan spray will make sure it doesn't stick. Is you know, like the awesome fancy, like, throw it in there? Well, I just did one. I wanted to zip. And well, I missed it. Where were you? Yeah. Throw me a number. Something like Christy Kevin, I missed it. Where are you? Something like Christy Kevin. Yeah, it's like Lambert. So. <laughs> okay. Sarah, you need to get a picture of that. Yeah, mine's getting longer. Sarah. Yeah, mine's Sarah, long, but it. it's kind of dry and breaking. <laughs> now, these are already starting to proof a little bit. I can feel some air bubbles in these. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to let breaking these... where there's an air bubble. It mentions here to uh, bench rest about 10 minutes before shaping, then let them proof about halfway. It's really mouth covered so that they uh, have a chance to proof and get a little puffy. That gives you a lighter pretzel, and then we're going to put it in the fridge. Now, like I said, you know, we got this big, big U here, you know, and it's heavy on the bottom, so all you really have to do to get it going is kind of, you know, just give it a twist. And it really doesn't take much. After a while, you get kind of feel for it, where it just goes over like that. It's one too many twists, and um, it's just like that. It's very simple, you know. All you're really doing is creating a little interlock like that. And it just, I like them being a little fat on the bottom. Now, there are pretzels out there that people make of all different shapes. You know, all kinds of different shapes. Uh, toss me another one, Ryan. Sorry. I'm lost. I can't do it. Oh. This is getting a little bit beat up here. My, my, where, where there was an air bubble, it, it broke it. I'm going to try to roll this out a little bit more. Air bubble. Let me moisten my hands a little bit. Trust me. Wait till you grab one of these. Freaking bubbling up like crazy. A little bit of moisture on your hands can sometimes help the table to get sticky and it'll stick to you. Stick to the pretzel dough a little bit better. Let me see if I bring this one back to life here. Without it. Kenan did it. <laughs> okay, so. It's going to be a little skinny in here. That's all right. The bridge starts to Like I mentioned here, you know, you just have to kind of work with it and shape it. Give it a pinch. I see this one's got a little bit of a skinny part to it. But they're going to puff up real nice. Now, is this shape the only shape you can make a pretzel in? Of course not. You can make rolls. You can make simple twists. If you took pieces, let's say, about half this size and just gave them a good twist, set them down on the pan, they will be just a twist, just a pretzel twist. As I mentioned, pretzel rolls, pretzel sticks, like breadsticks. Why not? You know, 
you've got a fair amount of dough here to mess with, and there's a lot of uh, a lot of possibilities. But the traditional pretzel shape is what we're used to. So, you know, we're going to stick. I'm going to stick with that primarily myself because I like I like working with the traditional pretzel. Okay, so we're going to do that.